Good evening, everyone. This is Mark O'Malley here with a hurricane outlook and discussion recorded on June 18th, 2023, quarter on 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to go over tonight with Invest Area 92L. We're covering the latest and breaking information with that. We're also watching another tropical wave to the east of that system. So let's go ahead and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this evening, we are starting to pick up on the activity out there across the basin. First of all, we have Invest Area 92L now well on its way to becoming Tropical Storm Brett over the next several days. We are also watching a secondary wave behind this that has now been tagged by the National Hurricane Center and another tropical wave that is going to emerge off the coast of Africa within the next two or three days. And this also has some chance to develop, although less than uh, these two systems out here, but this will also have to be monitored over the next several days as this generally moves off towards the west. So here is the 8 p.m. tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. This right here is Invest Area 92L, now with a 90% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next week. And realistically, over the next 48 hours, this is likely to become our next tropical depression and eventually probably our next tropical storm. And then the wave now emerging off the coast of Africa. This is now to the south and east of the Cabo Verde Islands, uh, roughly south of 15 degrees north here. This has a 20% chance of development as it generally tags very closely behind to 92L and could become our next tropical system after 92L subsequently develops. So we have a lot to watch. We're going to talk about both of these systems primarily covering Invest 92L this evening. Looking at the system this evening, it has become much more convectively active since this morning's discussion and forecast video. We noticed a large band of thunderstorms developing out here, sort of in this little band that we have previously kind of been discussing about, even back to this morning. And that band has persisted throughout the early part of the afternoon and into the early evening hours. And we're starting to see outflow on the northern edge of this storm begin to increase, meaning that there is divergence aloft and convergence at the surface, basically meaning that thunderstorms are freely able to go up now in this atmosphere. So we're going to be watching this very carefully. I would suspect that we are getting very close to tropical cyclone genesis and this being classifiable as a tropical depression or storm. And this will likely occur probably within the next about 24 hours or so. As we notice this banding along with this mid-level circulation that is located right where my cursor is. And these thunderstorms are beginning to wrap around that mid-level circulation. And as more convection develops closer to that center, this is going to help to bring that vortex from the mid-levels down to the low levels and close off the circulation and make it a tropical cyclone. So this is a very healthy wave look right now, and it is certainly something that is on the verge of becoming our next tropical cyclone. So what we're going to be taking a look at now is the HWARF forecast, and we're going to be looking at the upper level environment. So we're basically neglecting the intensity at the low levels because the HWARF and most of the hurricane models have a tendency to overdo the intensity with these pre-genesis tropical waves. But irregardless, what we're looking at right now is pretty consistent with the rest of the global models depiction of the environment. We've got a fairly healthy outflow pattern on the northern side, but the southern side is a little bit restricted. You've actually got winds from south to north, and that is not really allowing for much in the way of outflow to be radially expanded out in all quadrants like that. In fact, you've only got outflow really extending to the north of the system right now. But it is still expanding outwards, and that is getting at least some divergence in the upper levels allowing for thunderstorms to generate and convergence at the low levels. So that is helping irregardless. And through the next several days, that this is really not going to change. Actually, we go 36 hours from now by Tuesday morning. The outflow pattern on the southern side has greatly improved, and we're seeing an intensifying tropical cyclone here 
in the forecast model. And this is a very reasonable depiction of the overall environment and intensity by Tuesday. We could be talking about a tropical storm here very late tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. But after that time is where a lot of models begin to diverge. The H wharf and the hurricane models make this a very strong hurricane, while models like the European forecast, for example, uh, barely make this a tropical storm within the next week. Uh, but irregardless, it seems like that the overall pattern is going to begin to change after some time. You've got an upper level high off the screen in the Caribbean and also another trough and a wave crashing down into the central Atlantic here as part of a trough. And this is increasing shear out of the westerly direction here, generally the further north in latitude you go. So as the storm starts to gain latitude in some fashion, this will likely begin to run into this more hostile environment. And we can see this depicted here on the H wharf where you've got this upper level high right here and you've generally got anticyclonic flow coming down like that and this trough creating fairly strong westerly winds to the north. So even if this storm does get far enough to the north here, it is very likely to be sheared off by some of this anticyclonic flow and this trough that's located in through here. Now on this particular forecast run of the H wharf, this eventually moves into the Caribbean here where it does start to get sheared apart. Now, one of the things is a stronger storm in this environment is going to be able to better fend off this very strong upper level high and the subsequent shear out across here. But irregardless, this does seem to encounter more unfavorable conditions the closer to the island chain you get. So this would be potentially some good news for the island chain here, Barbados, up towards uh, you know the, the northern part of the island chain, USVI and Puerto Rico, that if a storm does manage to come into the Caribbean, it will probably be fairly weak uh, because of the fact that there's going to be a lot of shear in this environment. And we notice the next storm behind that that briefly does try to become a tropical cyclone here within the next couple of days. So we're going to be watching this very carefully, but in terms of the intensity goes, this is also going to govern the track, which we're going to go ahead and look at. So something that's worth pointing out on models like the GFS ensemble forecast is the majority of the stronger members end up getting further towards the north and east. And this is as a result of an upper level trough that's going to be sitting out here over the next several days. And we, we've been talking about this at nauseum for several days now, but the stronger the system gets in the short term, the further towards the north and east it will ultimately end up going. And a lot of the weaker members end up with a solution into the Caribbean where the ensemble mean is kind of paralleling between these two extremes at the time being. And the super ensemble plot here from Tomerberg, this is a, a really good product to kind of give you an idea of all of the possible outcomes of this system. And this is from 12Z, so earlier today after the, the UK MET model got assimilated into this. But the majority of the members here, the consensus of the ensemble mean, this is including the uh, EPS ensembles, the GFS, the UK MET, and Canadian ensembles. So big conglomerate of uh, ensembles here. And the majority of them do take it into the Caribbean as a weaker storm. So this definitely does raise some alarm bells for the Caribbean, but I do think if the storm gets into the Caribbean, it will be much weaker and it will probably bring some very beneficial rainfall to some of the areas that have been very dry and hot over the past several weeks. And again, the GFS ensemble continues to kind of take this off towards the north and east along with the deterministic run. But again, the models today have come into better agreement that this will probably make its way fairly close to the island chain, um, if not move into the Caribbean. So again, it is worth noting that right now, the greatest concern for me personally is the northern part of the island chain really from about Barbados northward to potentially the USVI and Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic at this given point. 
Again, we could have a tropical system that moves through this area within the next approximately five to six days from now. And if it does so, I do believe in all honesty that this system will be much weaker than some of the solutions like the h wharf go to suggest. So I do think this will be weaker. However, again, it's just to monitor this area. Just watch out if you're in this area as we could be dealing with a tropical system that be that is moving through producing heavy rainfall gusty winds from time to time potential for flooding isolated tornadoes you know the drill generally speaking though this does not there's not high enough confidence at this point to increase any alert levels and certainly do not cancel any plans that you have had scheduled for the you know the past couple of days for the next week or so at this point just simply watch out Keep checking back on the forecast. Otherwise, go about your business as usual, and we'll continue to update you as far as that goes. We are also watching a separate tropical wave. This is Invest Area 92L right here, and this is a new tropical wave that has emerged off the coast of Africa today. We'll talk about this more in greater detail in tomorrow's Outlook and Discussion video. But I do just want to touch on this real quickly. The environment is going to be conditionally favorable for development of this wave right here over the next couple of days. However, depending on how strong Invest 92L gets, this will definitely impact the intensity and how great the environment is for this next system. So we'll talk about this more in detail in tomorrow's Outlook and Discussion video. But I do just want to say that there is the potential for this to go on to become a tropical cyclone as well. Some of the, the latest guidance does continue to spin this up into a brief tropical system. But I don't think this is going to be any threat for land at this given point in time. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your evening. God bless. Take care. Of course, I am Michael Romali. I'll talk to you guys again some more tomorrow.